This is your girl Rita, also known as the self-proclaimed gold digger. Welcome to my channel where I discuss my life as a wife, mom, entrepreneur, and business owner, all while trying to crush and achieve my goals. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I am so glad to have you. But if you are a fellow gold digger, welcome back. Y'all know I love and I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, today we are going to be talking about some summer budget busters now i know i have not come to you um, to share with y'all about my budgeting like i did um, when i first started this channel but i am still budgeting i am budgeting a little bit more loosely than I was um probably just over a year ago especially prior to when i was doing it in 2020 but i am trying to get a little bit stricter a little bit tighter cleaning up my budget um, because, you know, student loans are about to get back into repayment and I need to make sure I have, um, you know, my budget set up and everything. Part of the reason I've been budgeting loosely too um, is because of my various side hustles. They have been allowing me to be able to pay off a couple of student loans and still be able to enjoy different things. Also with the mystery shopping too, I've been able to, you know, I know I love the hotel mystery shop, so I'm still been, been able to travel and make money and things of that nature. So I haven't been as strict with my budget, but it's time, it's time to tighten up the belt. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some of the summer budget busters because we are about to be in full swing with summer and a lot of things are going on. So first thing that can bust your budget this summer, if you haven't already noticed, is number one is food, especially with them greedy behind kids home from school, okay? I know my kids, you know, they eat up everything. So food is definitely a budget buster. Um, the kids are home. You might even be home a little bit more or you're on vacation or something like that, staying in the house and you're having to do your grocery budget a little bit differently or you might even be, be eating, going out to eat a little bit more frequently. Also, there are some certain things during the summertime that we just consume more of, you know, like ice cream, treats, things of that nature as well. So just be mindful of that when it comes to the summer budget time, budget busters, okay? Um, food is definitely a big one, um, especially if you're going out to eat a lot more. Um, especially we also, another thing you don't think about too is oftentimes we're visiting people a lot more, especially since we're able to travel and get around a, a little bit better now that it's not, I won't say as bad. We know that, you know, COVID is still out there, but things aren't as bad. So you might be meeting up with friends who you haven't seen in a while, or it's been a very, very long time, and y'all might be going out to eat. And those things you haven't taken into consideration as part of your food budget. All right, moving on. The next thing you want to consider that is a summer budget buster is your electric bill, okay? It is hot. I am in the South, y'all. And the AC has to be on 24-7, okay? So your electric bill, you got to make sure you stay cool. Also, with the kids being home, the air is, the AC is running all day in general. And at, literally, right before I shot this video, I was like, y'all got it too cold up in here. So I had to turn it, turn it down. So I don't know what my electric bill is going to be because if they had it running that high all day, I don't know. But I had to turn it down. But... Um, look into that. Also, it might be helpful for you to look into what's called budget billing. I know some um, utility companies offer that. So they pretty much divide up your bill over 12 monthly payments, like based off of your usage for the year. So you may want to look into that as a way to save money, especially in the summertime when we're more likely to be using more of the electricity. Um, and that can cause the bill to go up. So you don't want to have a surprise. So it might be better for you to look into that to see if you can spread out your payments. It's also going to be helpful too, probably too, when it comes to the winter time and we're running the, the heat a lot more as well. So look into seeing if your utility company, your electric company might have something where they can do budget billing and they break up your payments over 12 months based off of your usage. All right. The next thing that is could be a summer budget buster is summer camps. Y'all, so I know I have grown kids. 
I won't, well, I won't say grown kids. They are pretty much teenagers or whatever. So I haven't had to pay for daycare in a long time. I started looking into some summer camps, y'all. These summer camps are can be a little bit costly. Um, I am still looking into, well, I know it's still in the middle of the summer, but I am looking to put my kids into some of the summer camps and I am planning ahead for next year because I was like, this look like a tuition payment for college for some of these summer camps. So these summer camps can be a budget buster as well. Um, also, especially if you're putting in into um, different sports camps and things like that. And that kind of leads me into the next thing that can be a budget buster, which are summer sports. So sometimes, you know, you want to keep the kids active and stuff like that. You might get them enrolled into like some kind of summer league or something like that. And you got to get, you know, their equipment, their uniforms, all that stuff that is needed for them to play a summer sport. And that stuff can be costly as well as if you're traveling back and forth to um, practice games, things of that nature, things that you didn't plan on, especially if they're, if the games are, you know, further away than what you are typically used to traveling, um, especially with gas going up and everything. Thing. So summer sports can sometimes be, um, possibly could be a summer budget buster. All right. Now the next, the fifth budget buster for the summer is the pool and water park. So it's hot y'all. We want to stay cool. We want to go and have some fun and splash around in some water. So we're going to the pool. We're going to water parks, doing different water slides, things like that. So if you have a neighborhood pool where you can get membership to, or even the YMCA, and you might purchase a membership to those different organizations, that can be an increased monthly expense for the summer that you want to make sure you factor into your budget. Also, if you are taking any trips to water parks and things of that nature, admission to those parks, also making sure you bring some snacks and you stay cool and you stay hydrated while you're there. Those little things that we don't think about start adding up and it goes back to the food. We end up going out to eat and stuff like that as we're traveling to and fro to these different water parks. So bring you a snack, pack you a lunch when you're traveling to these different places to try and see if you if that might help you save money. Otherwise, factor these, these foods and the snacks into your budget when you visit the pools and the water parks. All right, next up, the sixth thing is summer events, activities. And by that, I mean like there are like street festivals going on, there are concerts going on. Um, you know, you might want to go to the local farmer's market. It's all kind of like cool little stuff going on, which is, which is why I love summertime. But these things can be costly you know so make sure you factor it in if you're wanting to go to some kind of festival go to a concert or whatever you want to make sure you set aside funds and allocate um, funds for those type of activities especially if you enjoy doing those things all right next up the seventh thing that can be a summer budget buster our cookouts and family reunions. We are approaching um, the Independence Day holiday and a lot of people have cookouts around this time or whatever. So getting all the food for the cookouts and everything, going back to the number one thing, food. You know, y'all, we, we want to eat. We like to eat. That food is one of our, probably a lot of people's biggest expense. So getting food for the cookout or if you're going to a family reunion, paying your family reunion dues, making sure you get that family reunion t-shirt, traveling to wherever the family reunion is located, all that stuff can be costly and you don't factor in all those little expenses that are associated with it. Yeah, you know you're going to the family reunion. Yeah, you already paid your dues. Yeah, you already got your t-shirt and everything, but gas is high and you still have to travel there. You're still gonna have to eat something along the way depending on how far away it is. All those different things will add up. Same thing goes for the cookout. Don't now, if you go into somebody's cookout, you know, unless they, don't, unless you can't cook, it would be nice to bring a dish. If you can't, if you can't cook, bring some ice. We need some ice. Bring some cups. Bring some plates. Bring some napkins. Bring some ketchup. Bring something if you can't cook, so you can be contributory to the cookout and you not piling up, you know, four and five plates and leaving because that food is expensive for whoever's hosting that cookout, okay? All right, so these things can be a budget bus or, or you might be saving money if you're one of those people who just cook out hop. Y'all go from cookout to cookout to cookout and collect the plate. But I don't know, maybe that that's not my fellow gold digger. All right, moving along, the eighth thing that can be a budget buster are family vacations. So hopefully, you have already budgeted for this um, and factor that into into 
into your monthly budget or your monthly expenses. But sometimes when we're on vacation, we get a little carried away. We get a little relaxed. We having a good time and we like, I won't say balling out, but we are spending on stuff that normally we wouldn't spend on. But because we on vacation, we trying to live our best lives. And then we get back home and see our bills and like, oh, snap. I just, I just spent the, the water bill, the water money <laughs> while we were out on vacation. So don't get caught up on vacation and spend money that you're going to need next week to keep the lights on, to keep the water on or whatever. All right. Just keep that in mind. All right. The ninth thing that can be a summer budget buster are summer clothes. Y'all know we want to get swimsuits, sandals, sunglasses, and shorts. We trying to look cute for the summer, okay? If we go into these water parks, we got to be fashionable, all right? We got to be cute in our in our um, swimsuit. Also, don't forget the sunscreen, all these S's, okay? So swimsuit, sandals, sunglasses, shorts, and sunscreen. So all these things can start adding up because of the type of events we're going to. Also, if you're going to be outside, um, you know, you want to stay cool. It's hot. It's hot. So we haven't been outside in a while. So we're updating our wardrobe to be to um, dress accordingly for our summertime fashion. But set a budget for your summer clothes so that you don't go over. Um, especially when you're going to all these different events, concerts, festivals, family reunions, and things of that nature. You know, recycle them outfits, mix and match those tops and bottoms to make it look like a new outfit or whatever so you're not busting your budget. All right, and the last and final thing that can be a budget buster for the summer are our summer movies, okay? Y'all know a lot of movies come out during the summer. Um, some of us have not been to a movie theater in a while. Even if you watch it from home and written, you know, written movies or downloading movies, um, however you do it, stream, excuse me, streaming movies is what I meant to say. Um, this can be a budget buster, especially if you're trying to take the family out. Um, they even have like, you know, drive-in theaters, things of that nature. You want to have a nice fun experience um, but factor that into your budget so that you got money for the next month okay um, and a lot of these things I will say y'all know I do mystery shopping some of these things some of these events some of these activities summer activities you can do you can do through mystery shopping so be sure to if you're not already a mystery shopper it's something that you can look into I do have a list of mystery shopping companies that is totally free that you are um, can download and get signed up with these companies they have jump parks they have zoos they have for amusement parks they even have it for concerts y'all so um and definitely for restaurants so mystery shopping is one of the ways i have been able to save money on various things and something that you might want to look into all right but let me know what was most helpful to you or what was a summer budget buster that you didn't think about that i may have mentioned all right until next time take care everyone uh -huh. Uh -huh.